Okay, <laughs> we're recording. Sorry, I'm, um, I've moved from iBooth to iMovie because um, hopefully that will help with uh, the dubbing. Um, okay, so today I'm doing brows. I've had quite a few um, requests for eyebrows and I don't know if you can see but um, this is what my brows look like with nothing on. Um, so I always just start by combing my brows but what I will say to start with is um, first of all if your eyebrows are quite sparse grow them back um, and you can use M2 brows to do to do that with it's a serum it's really really good I've been using it and mine are mine are much thicker they were really really sparse um, also revise her brow um, but I'll I'll tweet the link later and um, yeah and then you can then you need to get a pencil really an eyebrow pencil um, some people use powder that's fine you can use that too if you're going to use that I often brush it out quite a bit afterwards just so it kind of looks like fine hairs you don't want it to look sort of too solid and then it looks a bit fake well just too heavy, a bit drag queeny, and if that's not the look you're going for, then it's not advisable. Okay, so basically, um, once you know, once you've got your brows in tip-top condition, if they're in a bit of a rubbish state, um, go to Shivata um, at Harrods. They're amazing. Just get them shaped just the once. And then, you know, from then onwards, you can try and just tweak them yourself. I mean, to be honest, my my eyebrows never really grow. I get like, the occasional one like, there or something. I think, well, not really going to do much there, is it? Um, apart from since I've been using the um, the M20, M25? No, the M2. <laughs> That's a motorway. Um, yeah, so M2, really good. Um get them nice and thick, or thick as you possibly can, then get them shaped. Uh, but in the meantime, <clears throat> I know that whole growing process is horrible, just try and draw on a bit of shape. So I'm, I'm going to try and show you um, how I do that. So what I tend to do is, you know, you want your eyebrows to start about here. So first of all, let's do this. So mine are quite fine, I'm just taking tiny little strokes really lightly and what I'm using is MAC and it's a brow pencil called Spike. Spiked. So just look where your, your brow is and just sort of fill it in, That that's the area you want to fill in at the minute. Don't go too over it because you, know, you can go a tiny bit but if you make this bit really big and then it's fine, it looks like a tadpole. And that's not really um, a good look. Right, so once once you've sort of done your corner there, you can most probably see the difference straight away. Ta -da. And then we'll give it a little brush. Because again, that just, if you've made any hard lines, you think, oh no, I'm going to start again. No, just get your, your brush out and then soften it through. And that'll soften through any hard lines. Can you see? Okay, then what I do is I connect this part to this part. Okay, so there's your arch. And your arch wants to be about here. Some people have them here. That's totally wrong. Here, we'll, we'll lift your eye and bring your eye up. So it, it looks kind of almost that sort of Botox look. But it's really good to um, for sort of lifting or if you haven't got much eye socket space and your brows a bit lower you, you know it's always good to to lift them but not ridiculously just just where the natural arch is I mean my natural arch is a little bit further in but I just take it from the, the sort of furthest part I can kind of thing so what, what we're doing now is connecting those two so again really soft really soft strokes filling that bit as well Okay. 
So now I've, I've filled that in, can you see? And I'm still seeing a bit of a gap there, which isn't great, so... That's the one. Right, now if you just turn your head slightly and go from your arch, which mine is here, and go sort of over the top of it, not too much underneath, so that you get that um, that nice lifted effect I was just saying about. Bring it down, like I said, you want to sort of line it up to your eye, from your nose to your eye, and that's ideally where it should be. Sometimes I think it's a little bit too much for a day look, so don't bring it all the way down. Just sort of bring it down to where your hair stopped growing. And you don't want it to bring it down too sort of thin to a point because then it just looks really obvious and doesn't look very natural. And now, now we've done that bit, gonna go back and just connect where I started my arch from the top. Okay, so you can see the difference that's made. Yeah? Right, so now I'm going to just start on the next one. Again, same process. Tiny little, tiny little strokes so that it looks like tiny little hairs as opposed to like drawing on strong lines. If the, the lighter you can be with your brows, the best. Um, and also, like tinting them is really good because it just it gives you some more of a guideline you can see where your brows are so I've done that sort of beginning bit again and I'm just connecting through the bottom bit and I know it is difficult because some you know brows aren't always the same shape and everything but just try and be quite visual about it and keep sort of stopping having a little look in the mirror and then before you know it it becomes like second nature I used lingering MAC brow lingering for quite a long time. Again, I'm just turning my head now, finding my arch, and working down for my arch um, for quite a long time. Um, but then it was just, I, I felt like it was just a bit light because my, um, my eyes are quite dark brown. So it just, I mean, obviously, you want it to blow with your hair too, but in a lot of photos I kept feeling like my eyebrows looked a bit non-existent but that is is a really good colour for um, for blondes okay and that is basically it that is that is a day look eyebrow and um, if I was going out I would do that and then I would do rest of my makeup then I go back and maybe just add a little bit more on the strength of them and maybe just bring these down a little bit more according to um, my eye makeup if I've really sort of gone for it and a big smoky eye, a big flick or something. So this is um, my video for the week. I'm going to try and do um, a smoky eye before the end of the week's out but I am really busy with work so um, I'll try my best and um, like I said guys tweet me um, it's Lindsay Harrison, L Y N D S E Y, uh, Big L, Lindsay, Big H Harrison, but that with Harrison it's H A R R one instead of an I S O N. And yeah, give me a tweet if there's anything you want to see or any questions or if you were like, oh, I didn't understand that bit. Can you just, you know, I'm I'm pretty good at getting back to my tweets. I'd like to think. So, um, yeah, or any looks you want to see. Um, they don't have to necessarily be towy looks like these. this girl asks, lovely girls ask about eyebrows. So that's why I'm doing eyebrows. So, yeah, whatever you want to see, just let me know and that would be great. And I'll um, see you guys soon. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all the lovely comments and feedback that I've had. I really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. Bye.